this guitar lesson is going to be um, about double stops. Double stops are two notes played in harmony, uh, two strings being played. In this case, it's going to be on the first and third string. And I'm going to use my pick on the third string and my uh, middle finger on the high string. And the idea is to get both of the notes to be even in attack, even in volume. So you want to try to make sure that flesh note is as loud as your picked note. It's going to sound like this. Now what you're going to do is take your first finger, your pointing finger, and put it on the high E string in the third fret, and the middle finger on the G string or third string on the fourth fret and play those two notes together in harmony. Those are two of the notes out of three that make up the G major chord. Now if you go to the seventh fret and use your pinky and ring finger uh, on the same two strings, those are also two of the three notes from G major. So let's go back and forth with those, those two positions. There's the low G, there's the high G. Low G, high G, high G, low G. So we've got that going on. Let's do that back and forth. Now there's a little passing or transitional uh, uh, location there on the fifth fret. It's gonna look just like the seventh fret fingering, but in the fifth fret, and let's put that in between the two places on the road map. It's going to have G, low G, transition, high G. So it'll be like that. Now go to the eighth and ninth frets, and you get a C major. It's two of the three notes that comprise C major. Go to the twelfth fret, and do the high C. So you got low C, you have high C. Do the same thing with D in the 10th and 11th frets. And the 14th fret is the high D. So low D, high D. Low D, high D. So you've got the G's, the transitional thing, the C, and the D's. Those are double stops. Now instead of playing them at the same exact time, let's go back and forth from low string to high string like this. And let's put the transitional thing in as well. Double stops. Now you can start at the high part of each chord and go down to the low. In other words, we're going to reverse it like this. Now you might notice occasionally I put a little in-between slur. It's sort of almost like a noise, but it gives it a little bit of a, a cohesion or something. So listen to this. sorts of things you can do like that. One quick time through it and that's the end of the lesson. They're called double stops, key of G. That's it for today.